Welcome. I am the one and only MSJ Max for short and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is day one of Puppet Master March where I'll be watching each and every one of the Puppet Masters um, franchise in the month of March. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> the title kind of says it all but habit of explaining things. But um, but anyways, but first, before I get this video started off good and proper, I need you to hit subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, and share, because doing all that fun stuff helps me to get my channel and videos to a much, much broader audience. And also, in this video, I will be um, unboxing or kind of showing off the Toulon's trunk, which um, which houses all of these Puppet Master movies. It sort of looks like this. Um, it's a little different. It, it divides into three instead of just straight up open, which you'll see in the unboxing portion here in, a, in here about a minute. But uh, my history with the Puppet Master movies are pretty quick. Um, I've seen the first one, maybe the second one, but it's been like decades since I've seen the first one. And then from three onto Blade, the Iron Cross, and including Puppet Master, the Littlest Reich, are going to be first time viewings. I may have seen clips on YouTube here and there, but it's going to be truly first time viewings for majority of this franchise. So I'm going to go watch this um, and I'm going to um, just cut into the unboxing portion of the video. And, and after that, I will be back with my review of the first Puppet Master. It's um this is the back of the the trunk of Toulon's um trunk and this is really cool. It's just like these little um pieces right here are metal and like the it's a wooden box with like a metal sheet around it, which is really really cool. And if you turn it around, it actually has like metal latches and everything. Um and it's just like and I love these little um stickers and everything to kind of show him where he's been and everything and just like once you open it up and open up the Toulon's trunk and as you can see that that's where all the movies um are set i've already taken out puppet master one because it is it is a little bit of a pain to take it out um but i'm going to just kind of work my way through them so, though um, throughout the month of March you'll see like the the movies disappearing in the background for the thumbnails uh but my edition didn't come with the little figures that are supposed to fit in there which I will eventually get and then I'm going to invest in some Puppet Master NECA figures to kind of go along with it because I just love how this is um, displayed it's awesome it looks really awesome. It just I, it, it's a really cool display piece for my basement, for my movie room downstairs, which I'll be going back down there in a minute. But it also comes with like a little booklet that kind of talks about each of the movies. It doesn't include, um, it goes up to like Access Termination, I do believe, or or Access Rising, one of those two. But it does include one of the newer releases in Blade, the Iron Cross. Um, the only one that is missing is um, Puppet Master the Littlest Reich. Um, so it just like, I really love this box. It I ca caught it on sale on the fullmoondirect.com and it, it just it's just awesome. I cannot wait to like find a spot downstairs in the movie room for this to be properly displayed. So that is all I'm going to go back down and start to pour back to the other portion of this video where I start reviewing the first Puppet Master movie. I just got done watching the first installment of the Puppet Master franchise, Puppet Master. And before I tell you what I thought of the movie when the final credit rolled, I'm just going to kind of give a quick synopsis of this movie. And it's about a bunch of psychics who were brought together at one time and they've kind of gone their separate ways. And then the person who has kind of brought them all together has died at this hotel and they're all kind of come back to kind of like realize that he may have figured out what their initial project was of bringing kind of conquering death basically. And so, um, but 
this is all kind of set in motion with Andre Toulon, who has kind of um, been handed down the magic or the um, ancient art of bringing inanimate objects back to life. And that's kind of where our puppets come into play. Um, these are all um, used by like only a select people have uh, select people only know how to do this and Andre Toulon knows how to do it and um the beginning of the movie is really really intense um because it's like these two men who in large black trench coats are like just randomly show up at this really cool looking hotel that kind of overlooks this cliff and he he know he's like I know they're coming and and he's like don't worry I'll keep you guys safe and and so he and you can tell the way he like puts them in the trunk and and hides them like he great takes great care of these puppets and he's building a newest one the jester um but um you get blades kind of running around and everything like that. So it's just really, really cool. Um, just the beginning sequence is really, is worth a watch of in and of its own. So, uh, but when the final credit rolled, um, like I've already kind of already said it, but I love this movie. Um, I just thought it was fun. I really like the whole concept of it all. It's like, um, just a bunch of sidekicks who are just trying to kind of, um, conquer death in a way you know it's kind of oversimplification of it um and just like we we're just going to try to conquer death and live forever and it's just really good i just really fully enjoyed this whole concept and everything and when the puppets start to kind of um kind of pick these psychics off one by one um some of it is not as gory some of them are just like your classic neck slits and stuff like that. But when they're all brought to like kind of presented um, at the end of the movie, um, the, there's some more um, after effects of showing like what had happened. Because there's one scene where there's uh, one of the sidekicks is looking underneath the bed. The tunneler decides to run head first into her face, but you don't see it. You just kind of see your body kind of moving around in a bloody hand. And then you see like what had actually happened to her face <laughs> at this dinner table, and which is really cool. And it's just, and it's just really awesome. And there's um, just like the, the dead body kind of keeps showing up uh, throughout the movie because it, it, they're going to have a funeral for him. But it, it's like we can't bury him until they, all the psychics get there. And it's just, and he just randomly starts showing up in these places. And I, and I, I like that. Um, but obviously the puppets are the stars of this movie. And the stop motions are fantastic. This movie is shot on actual film. And so to me... I love stop motion. I think stop motion is a very lost art form nowadays, especially in the art of CGI and um, just computer effects. I think stop motion is very and is very underutilized. And this movie was just and like it's really fluid and very solid in this movie. I mean, like there's some scenes when the puppets are like the practical puppets are interacting with the human actors. And then they get picked up and they throw, get, get thrown across the room. And then you actually get to see them like stand up and like readjust their body parts and stuff like that through stop motion. And it's just like, it doesn't feel fake. And like, I know it's fake and I know what's going on, but it just feels like that's a natural feel of the puppets because of like the stop motion gives them a life of in of its own right there because that's just awesome. So, um, this first movie is a five. Um, it is a it's a classic. I think this first movie is awesome. Yeah, um, if you are a horror fan and have not seen this, uh, I definitely suggest this first movie, one hundred percent. So, um, I'm not going to be doing one a day. Um, I may skip around because there's other projects I want to uh, videos I want to make throughout the month of March. Um, but I did watch the trailer for the next film. And I, just to kind of see if I can, like I mentioned, I may have seen, um, part two, but like, nope, I've not seen part two. So I think really on, the, truly the only one that I have actually seen is the first one. And, um, so 
99% of this franchise is first time viewings. So that to me is pretty awesome. So, and that is all I have to say. I hope this month is a, a lot of fun for you guys to watch and hear me have to talk about um, Puppet Master. I know this video is a little bit long because I got the unboxing in the middle of the video, and but I promise the next videos I'm coming out for the rest of this month um, in terms of Puppet Master videos will be a little bit shorter. So, um, so if you stuck around to the end, I appreciate it. So, um, one last time, please click subscribe hit the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, and share. Um, if you have seen any of the Puppet Master movies, let me know which one I should kind of like really look forward to watching other than this one. So uh, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, as always, I am the one and only MSJ, Max for short, and all I can really say is thank you.